All right, Google straight up cooked at their Google I.O. conference. They unveiled like dozens of new AI updates across Gemini, Vertex, AI Studio, literally everywhere. Uh, it's actually still going on right now, but I got my hands on all the information early. I can finally let you all know, but here's what I think are the top 10 updates that you need to know. So uh, let's jump right into it. And just as an FYI, I'm going to be going over this all in much more depth uh, on an episode soon here on Everyday AI. So my name is Jordan Wilson. I do Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter helping you learn and leverage generative AI. So let's start with Number one, the biggest thing, some people are going to love this. Some people it's going to rub the wrong way, but there is a new $250 a month Google AI ultra subscription plan. So actually the normal Google advanced uh, plan is now just uh, Google pro. Uh, and then we have the Google AI ultra $250 a month, which seems super pricey until you look at what it includes. So it has this agent mode, which is coming soon. Uh, first access to a lot of the new, uh, features and updates that are later on the list. So let's look at, uh, number two, well, project Mariner. So if you are on that uh, ultra plan, you are going to get access to project Mariner like today. Uh, this is what Google has been technically uh, teasing for more than a year now. This is agentic AI. So you can do up to 10 tasks at once, whether it's researching things, booking, uh, you, you know, buying things online, doing 10 things simultaneously with contextual memory. So this remembers your preferences across sessions. And like I said, this is one of the, fe uh, the core features of that $250 a month ultra plan. Uh, this, the third thing is the VO2 video gen or sorry, VO3. Yeah. So many new updates. It's VO3 now, even though many people just got their hands on VO2, uh, in the last like two or three months. Now there is VO3 and you get access to that immediately, uh, with the ultra plan. Uh, they did also get some good quality of life, uh, improvements for VO2, but the big thing with VO3, Google's AI image generate or, or video generator is now it has built built in audio generation. So things like soundscapes as well as dialogue, like that's the wild one here. Literally you can generate, uh, you know, video with a text prompt or with images and create dialogue between two people. So a lot of times you'd have to stitch together three, four, five different tools to do this. Now with VO3 from Google, one tool. All right, next, Jules Coding Assistant. So this is much more than Vibe Coder, right, which they kind of uh, released at Google Cloud Next with their Firebase. This is a full-fledged coding system for enterprise with Jules. So I would say this is similar-ish to GitHub Copilot from Microsoft or the new Codex from OpenAI. So I haven't gotten a chance to play with it yet, but from initial looks, Jules looks really good and there's been some leaks as well. Uh, next thing, number five, is the AI mode uh, kind of being blended into the general search experience. So search is so good now uh, with the new AI mode. So it has deep reasoning for complex query understanding, uh, follow-up questions which with natural conversational flow, and that should be available to everyone right now. I can't even get into all these updates. This is the quick version. Uh, number six, Gemini Live Visual Assistant. This is what we kind of saw originally with OpenAI's 2024 May demo, but we still don't have the full thing yet. Uh, we do now with Gemini Live. Uh, so you can literally just open up the Gemini app, uh, even on iOS or obviously Android. Uh, it can see anything and interact uh, with anything in real time. You can share your screen. And this is also free for everyone. You don't even need to be on the pro or the ultra plan. Uh, next, we're getting super futuristic with number seven, the Google Beam communication platform. So this is think, you know, uh, Google meet meetings, uh, but like 3D, right? Uh, this has been something that they've been working on actually for a very long time, uh, but it's now real, right? So it's, it's having a Google meet, but with like 3D. So you're looking at me flat 2D, uh, yeah, mind boggling. And just wait until uh, the rest of the hardware tech catches up. Right now, you do need to uh, uh, have 
the HP uh, tech in order to take advantage of this. Uh, number eight is just the new AI shopping experience. Goodbye to your wallet. I mean, my gosh, uh, you, you know, you can do virtual try on uh, for clothes, agentic checkout with Google Pay. You don't even need to like manually check out. It will just do it for you, which is both really cool, but also, like I said, really dangerous to just say goodbye to your money, right? Imagine, uh, you, you know, running this new agent mode uh, in Project Mariner uh, with the AI shopping experience and your money's gone, right? Uh, there's guardrails, hopefully, right? Uh, and then number nine, imagine four. Imagine three, I think, was already on par or better uh, than mid-journey V7, from an, even from an aesthetics point of view, right? Prompt adherence through the roof. Uh, imagine four looks really good, specifically an emphasis on improved uh, text uh, typography, faster output, uh, 4K resolution. Talk about even a great starting point for videos, right? We talked about VO3, which brings me to our last one, number 10, the flow filmmaking tool. Essentially, this is bringing together the best of Google Gemini, uh, imagine on the photo side in uh, video on the video side, all in one platform. I really think that if this works as it was demoed, this really could change uh, the future of video, just like Canva did for graphic design. I think Flow is finally going to bring all these pieces together that we used to have to piecemeal and duct tape now, maybe in one tool. All right. That's it. We're going to be going over these in much more detail tomorrow. This is just a very quick eh, six minute look. So if this was helpful, let me know and let me know in the comments, which one of these 10 do you want to see a dedicated video on? I'm going to be on the ultra plan. So whatever you want to see, let me know in the comments and I'm going to go ahead and do those videos. All right. Thanks y'all. See you back for another video review or AI and five as we used to call these.